Hello my lovely beings and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing what love is coming your way. So I have some incense burning in my little dragon thing here. I just, I got this yesterday, it is awesome. I'm just letting it burn across the cards, cleanse any negative energy. So if you feel any negative energy may be resonating with you right now or maybe around you in your home right now, tap into the energy of the incense and allow things to be cleared. So this incense is actually for the lovers. I actually have the entire thing. It's actually labeled the lovers. It has rose and lavender and some other very beautiful fragrances. So we're going to start off with four piles today. We have pile number one, which actually has this little sheep on the candy here. We have pile number two, which has a rabbit. We have pile number three, which has a duck. We have pile number four, which is a carrot. So whichever one resonates with you, go ahead and choose your pile. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to. Oh, I sense sense. It smells oh, like amazing. All right, go ahead and choose what you wish and let us tap into the energy of this reading. All right, let me go ahead and move some stuff around and I will be right back. Hello, so if you chose pile number one, this is your reading. So I actually closed my window to allow the incense to flow in a different direction. <coughs> I realize now whew, it is strong but beautiful and I'm going to go ahead and let it cleanse the room, cleanse the energy, and let's look at what love is coming your way for pile number one. So if you chose this, this is your reading. So we're going to go ahead and start off with your messages here. And for your messages, we have say something. Okay, so you may already know this person and dig for gold unexpected money so this person may be actually um spending some money on you let's see your card okay unicorn oracle so you guys may already know this person uh, you guys may just be wanting to have an idea of what this person like their intentions towards you is really what i'm getting but definitely you guys it feels like for pot number one you already know this person this person has been spending some money on you uh, this person loves talking to you because we have to say something here as well. All right, so let's go ahead and pull some cards. Whew. We have the King of Pentacles. So yeah, this person definitely spends some money on you guys for my pile number one. I'm really feeling that this person can be, no, it's definitely a lover's type vibe here for my pile number one. Definitely a, a person you already may be with or a person that you are actively pursuing. But definitely this person loves spending money on you. They love spending time with you. Let's see, what else? Yeah, this person feels very strong with you. Oh yeah, the page of pentacles. So you may have less money than this person, but the 10 of pentacles on the bottom here, you guys. So definitely money is a big part of this relationship, but it's not something that you are consciously trying to take from this person. Rather, this person just wants to spend this money on you. With this page of, or this princess of discs, or the page of pentacles here, really what I'm getting is that for you guys, this is definitely an adventure. You've never had someone spend this type of money on you. It may be something very, very new. It may even make you uncomfortable at certain times. Um, but really what I'm feeling here is that this love was meant for you. You were meant to be treated this way. It is okay to be treated like a freaking princess or a queen because this person definitely sees themselves as your king. Whether this person be female or male, it could just be a person with a very masculine energy. All right, what else do we have here? Okay, this card jumped. Okay, so the queen of wands, so that's definitely how they see you. They see you as this queen of wands type energy, very powerful, very driven, very, Goal oriented is really what I see. This person sees you as someone who is amazing, who is really on top of their shit. Like, this, excuse my language, but they see you as like you're on top of your stuff. Like they, they are so proud of you and all of the work that you have done. And even if you feel that you may not have done a whole lot, this person sees you this way for a reason. They literally see you as the goddess. Like 
like this feels like goddess type energy they see you as a goddess they see you as driven that is why they're willing to spend this money on you is because they know that you're not just taking their money you're not a gold digger you're driven you have goals you are setting things in place so you can have financial success in the future you guys are on top of your stuff and they love it they love it they love it they love it so this love is already in your life so once again i feel like that you guys just wanted confirmation is this person right for you all these cards are going to be read upright today Woo. okay all these cards are going to be read upright today no reversals today so we have the queen of swords here and we have the eight of pentacles so this person is only right for you if you are willing to do the work because this person is here to help you grow on a mental scale here is really what i'm getting so if you're ready to grow in that way then yes this person is for you this person is going to challenge you mentally all of the time this person is not going to sit back and be like oh yeah you know don't do anything don't do you even though you are goal oriented this person kind of came in and kind of pushed you even if it was subconsciously or energetically to step into your power to step into your potential but they are here to challenge you mentally to help you grow mentally to become more mature mentally here so if you are willing to put in the work and to continue to grow as a person with this person then yes this person is right for you yes this person will continue to spend money on you yes this person will spoil you yes this person will definitely want to spend a lifetime with you because we have the ten of pentacles on the bottom there so this person will marry you but only if you are allowing change to happen only if you are allowing yourself to grow it's pretty much the universe is saying is if you are willing then yes <laughs> is really what i'm getting here Yeah, we also have the page of pentacles here as well so yeah they see you as very grounded we have the sun as well they see you as very grounded very down to earth here i'm gonna open up the window just a tiny bit just to let some of the smoke out it's gonna kind of go over here again but that'll be fine um or maybe not okay cool that's fine by me but this person sees you as very grounded as very adventurous they love it they love it when you take leaps of faith they love it when you agree with them they love it when you stand in your own power like this person loves you you know not no matter what because just you being this queen this amazing person this adventurous loving person is what's really kind of selling them right now um and you don't have to worry about whether or not you're going to continue being able to be this person for some of you guys i feel that it may feel like a lot of pressure and for some of you guys, it's just like breathing. You know it. You got it. You, you got it. You're on your crap. You're on your, your shit. Like, you guys are on it is really what I'm feeling here. Um, but for some of you guys, it may seem like a lot. And this is where the universe says that if you want to come back to this person, you can. But this, it's almost like the universe is saying that they would rather have you continue to grow. But only you know, well, actually, the universe knows what's best for you. But listen to your higher self, listen to that guidance, and understand if it's because of this person or if you are just feeling overwhelmed. Because there could be some type of thing you're doing in your daily routine that's actually leading you feeling overwhelmed rather than the actual person. How would that resonate for you? Okay. Yeah, we have the Seven of Pentacles here. So we have the Eight and Seven of Pentacles. You guys, this is the first time we've had any numbers here. So we literally had eight and seven as the first numbers coming out here. And it's 807. So <laughs> what I'm getting here for my pile number one is that eight and seven may be a recurring number that you see around this person. So listen to those synchronicities as they're going to be guiding you in the right direction today. And so on and so forth. All right. Okay. And we have the Ace of Swords. So yeah, definitely this person is here to build you up mentally, to prepare you for your greatest potential is really what I'm getting here. Is this person was sent your way for such a divine reason that right now it may not make full sense, but this person was sent to you for such a divine reason that literally the lovers symbolically literally means you too. That is how powerful you guys are as a couple. 
That's how powerful you have the potential of being as a couple. This is entirely up to you and how much work you're willing to put into this relationship. And a lot of this work is about you doing the mental work. Because the more you show up mentally for this person, the more they're going to show up emotionally for you is really what I'm getting here. Okay. So I feel like this is a message for a specific group of people. Okay. Because this just, I just, I, I just feel it right now. So if this does not resonate with you, go ahead and skip forward a, a bit or even just listen and see if someone else may resonate with this message. But we have the Five of Swords, the Moon, and the Nine of Pentacles. So a lot of your growth actually happens, okay, it's starting to flow too much here. A lot of your growth actually happens in your sleep. Right before you guys go, okay, so this may go back to the people who don't fully feel that they are ready for this person, they, they feel overwhelmed. It's actually because of your sleeping patterns. Um, for those of you that um, deal with a lot of this Five of Swords energy here, really what I'm getting is that with this Five of Swords and the Moon and the Nine of Pentacles, it's about a shift in, your, in the way you prepare to go to sleep. Uh, it's almost like for some of you guys, you may go to sleep worried about this relationship. And for some of you guys, you go to sleep very happy and prosperous about this relationship. However, that may resonate with you. But if you go to sleep very anxiety ridden, it's going to manifest into your dreams and it's going to make you wake up feeling a lot less good about yourself. So when you go to sleep at night, change the way you go to sleep. Change the routine that you have before you go to sleep. Like meditate, connect with your angels, connect with your higher self, listen to uh, divine masculine and divine feminine um, frequencies as well. And this will help you wake up feeling a lot better in the morning and then it will also help you go to sleep outside of this Five of Swords energy. So you will exit out of this Five of Swords energy if you incorporate this into your routine and you'll step into this Nine of Pentacles energy before you go to sleep and when you wake up in the morning. And this is really what I'm feeling for a select few people. If this does not resonate with you, that is okay. But definitely your nighttime routine with the moon here is very, very important. So this could also be about getting off your phone before going to bed. This could be about reading, doing little puzzles. I actually do crossword searches before I go to sleep at night as it helps calm my mind and get me off that uh, initial road of, oh this, oh that, oh this, oh that, because then I have to focus on finding the word. <laughs> I'm only going to pull a few more cards here from this deck, and then we will get a few more messages from here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so when you guys uh, work on your nighttime routine, you'll start being more creative, especially in your relationship or even in business, if you own your own business or your own YouTube channel, or even um, at work, you're gonna be a lot more creative, a lot more aligned with your original life purpose. For a very select few of you, this is a very specific message. If you've been wanting to quit a job, now is a good time to do so. That may not resonate with everybody, but especially if you've been wanting to quit a job, this is a very good time to do so as do not worry about your financial situation. This person will step in and help you through the process. Okay. There will be a new opportunity present for you when you are ready. Okay, and then we have the princess or the page of swords. So we already have, we only had one sword that had a negative connotation here. And overall, we had so many positivity when it comes to the swords. So definitely an adventure here. There, and the tower. This goes back to those who wanted to quit their job. It isn't. It's not going to be easy, but you will. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, with this princess or this page of swords here, you guys are going on a mental adventure, especially if you are changing your habits before going to bed as this is leading to financial abundance in the long run. This could even be changing the way that you do things 
online as well like what are you what are what are you listening to what are you watching what are you reading online that could even be changing for you and you're taking new routes like before i used to watch so many different things i had a lot of cursing in them that were very like aggressive and now i mainly watch cat videos now that doesn't mean that you have to do the same thing that doesn't mean that i don't watch aggressive things every now and then that just means that i'm shifting my overall mental area to step out of this negative and into a more positive area it's like changing for this pile the love is already in your life a lot of the love that's coming in is actually mental love new routines new ways of being and when you do this you're going to be receiving a lot more abundance from this person on an emotional and financial level because this person sees you trying they see you trying to be your best and they want to praise you for that always remember to give back to this person as well it doesn't have to be um you know gifts financially it could just be you know being there helping them find balance in their lives with that two of pentacles here it could about being there when they're having a hard time you know being emotionally and mentally present when they need you to be Let's see. Okay. Yeah, so you can also expect a call soon with this Knight of Pentacles or this Prince of Pentacles. You can expect a surprise to come very soon where this person may be like, oh, and the lovers. Okay, so this is very straightforward now. So quite literally this person, either today, uh, tomorrow, or the next day, however that resonates with you, this will be different for every single person. Um, this person is going to be like, hey, you know, pack up, we're going someplace. Like that is, this person is going to be surprising you very, very soon is really what I'm getting. So be prepared for that. Continue to work on your mentality. Continue to be your most amazing selves because you guys are deserving of that. You guys are deserving of love. You guys are deserving of this person. All right. So I'm going to pull a few more messages and that will be all. Raise your vibration. Yes, and see that. Raise your vibration. So you guys may need to raise your vibration at this time. However, that resonates with you. This could be talking about um, becoming more happy in this relationship, becoming more happy with yourself, uh, being more positive, listening to frequencies, burning incense or a candle, connecting with your angels, your higher self. However, that resonates with you. That's fine. I'll deal with it. <sighs> it says each. Okay, this doesn't actually mean anything bad. This is just something funny that I thought to put in here. And this could literally just mean that you're going to be having a really, really fun time. <laughs> this could also mean to eat chocolate as well, because we also have chocolate here. This could also mean that you're going to be having a lot of fun. You're going to be laughing a lot today is really what I'm feeling with that card. You're going to be laughing a lot today. Woo! Okay. Okay, so we have Don't Forget Me, and then we have the Solar Plexus Chakra. Do not forget to work on your Solar Plexus Chakra, as that will help you build more confidence in yourself and in your relationship. Okay, I'm just going to be closing and opening this window all day today. All right. <laughs> I hope that resonated with you, my lovely beings. If it did, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, I will have all those details linked down below. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can go ahead and do so. It is not expected of you. All right. I love you, you lovely beings, and have a good rest of your day. Bye. Hello, pile number two. So if you chose pile number two, this is your reading. So we have this cute little bunny here. I'm going to eat this later, more than likely. All right. So what love is coming your way? Let's look at the messages. Okay. We literally have message for you. Okay. So you may actually be receiving a message from this person or this reading could just be a message for you. And then we have desire. So this person may be, okay, let's see. Yeah, we have Queen B, so this person treats you like a queen, so this person may already be in your life. 
All right, or this person can be coming into your life. It's a bit, okay, let's go ahead and pull a few cards. It's, it's like split in half. For some of you guys, this person is already in your life, this five of wands here, or they could be someone that you are currently manifesting, someone who's going to treat you like a queen. Okay. No reversals today, so let's see what positive energy flies out today. We have the Two of Swords. Okay, so, and the Three of Cups. Okay, there has been some stagnation in your love life. You may have been single for a while and you've been trying to manifest this person into your life. And what I'm getting here is that you may actually be meeting this person through a friend. Because we have the Three of Cups here. This is about friendships. This is about working together. Uh, this is about celebration as well. So you may be meeting this person through a friend. So that's probably why we get the message for you and desire is that this friend could actually be messaging you and saying, hey, there's this person that um, you, know, you may like. And then when you do meet this person, this person very likely will treat you as a queen. So this love coming your way will be a person introduced through a friend. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, we have the two of wands. So the, the universe is really saying that it's your choice. If you want to be with this person, um, they're not going to, it's almost like, it's like, it's up to you. It's up to you to take the first step. It's up to you to take that leap of faith. Because it seems like this person doesn't want to be rude and be like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Rather, they're going to be like, oh, like, let's see if this person will reach out to me first. So take that initiative. Take that step. Because no matter what, you're on the right track. This doesn't seem like a person who is bad for you. Rather, this seems like a person that you've been trying to manifest with that five of wands here and this queen bee card. So this person... Debt. And then we have the bunny. So this person is probably going to be extremely sexually attracted to you because we also have the bunny and we have desire. Um, whew. Yeah, you guys have definitely been manifesting this person with a magician. So trust your trust your intuition, trust your guidance at this time. This person is definitely coming in. So I feel like you guys may want to know the personality of this person. Who may they be? So let's get a few reads on that. Okay, so is this a few too many cards? Okay, I'll trust it because they were all turned upright. So I will go ahead and trust this reading. Okay, no reversals today. So what we have is the Ace of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Emperor, this Four of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Any negative energy that you may be holding on about the potential of this person, release it now, <laughs> is really what I'm getting here. You have been giving yourself all the love that you need with this Ace of Cups. You've been holding on to your cup and you have not been letting it overflow for any one person, you've been really holding on to your love and you've been putting it more towards yourself than others recently. And you've been standing in this queen bee, this six of wands energy. You could be an influencer. You may want to be an influencer or you could just be stepping out into your into your power here with this six of wands. You guys, def you know what's funny? The queen bee and the six of wands are both under the spotlight. Like that is... All right, so that's definitely how you guys feel. You guys have been treating yourselves like you're the queen, that you're the queen bee, and you definitely want a person who's going to come in and give you that same type of love. And with this emperor here, this person is coming in, and they're coming in with the intention of checkmate. They're coming in with the intention of having a stable foundation with this four of wands here. This person doesn't want a booty call. They don't want someone who isn't serious. They want someone who is serious and who wants a long-term relationship this person is not looking for someone who just wants to hit it and quit it they're looking for somebody who is ready is what i'm getting for this person this person can be a little too serious sometimes but this person definitely has good intention and they really are going to find you very very attractive 
when they see you and when they get to know you, they're definitely going to think that you're this Ten of Pentacles type person. Because the stability they want is not only in a romantic relationship, but also in finances. And because you guys have been showing love to yourself, you guys have been making sure to take care of your finances because you never want to look at your bank account and go, wow, like I don't have enough money for like Chipotle. Like, <laughs> like you never want to have that. So you guys have been being a lot smarter with your money because you have been feeling in this queen bee, I deserve my own love type energy. And this person is ready for you. They are coming in quickly. They are definitely going to want to be stimulated on a mental level here. They're not going to be the type of person who's just like, oh, you know, let's just not talk. Let's just stare at our phones. They want that mental stimulation. They want someone who challenges them. They want someone who gives them joy. Like they want someone to chase is really what I'm getting here. Um, and with you, you guys are so extravagant. You guys do not just give. You guys are like, oh, no, you got to earn me. <laughs> we have this queen bee and the six of wands here. You want someone who earns you. You don't want someone who feels entitled to you. And this is definitely that person. They're going to feel that energy. They're going to chase the hell out of it. It's like the rabbit. Like they're going to be chasing your tail constantly and not necessarily i'm not saying that they're going to be chasing you know your your lovely bits um they're really going to be like chasing you mentally emotionally physically like they're gonna feel so excited to be with you because you're giving them a challenge you're not just giving into them you may have made that mistake in the past and you guys are definitely not repeating it so let's see if the card comes out okay this card wanted to come out yeah, you guys have been doing the hard work on yourselves with this Eight of Pentacles here. And because of that, this love is coming in. Is really what I'm getting here. I need to open up the window. This love is coming in because of the hard work you're doing for yourself. Is really what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah, you guys in the past may have searched for love where it wasn't. And now you guys are giving yourself that love with this four of cups here. So you guys are no longer searching for love in other people. And you're definitely not going to be searching for love from this person. Like not in the sense of, you know, you're not going to be serious with this person. You are going to be in love with this person. But you're not going to be focusing on them to give you all the love that you deserve. Rather, you're going to really be like hey i'm deserving of my own love i'll give myself the love that i need i'll feel good about myself i'll get myself back on track and this person who comes in i'll love them too but i will always make sure to love myself first and with this world card it, the reason why this person is coming in is because you guys have actually finished this cycle this old cycle of giving trying to find love where it was never at to begin with that cycle is over and done with you guys and that is what the universe wants you to know that's why this person is coming in it will definitely be a surprise when they come in you will not be expecting it so it's almost like they're saying that just wait and be patient and allow this person to come in at the right time okay so we have the four of wands here again so four may be a very big number with this person because we have double twos triple fours okay yeah what i'm getting here is definitely fours and twos are going to be very influential with this person i don't want the smoke in my face okay you know what it's fine it's cleansing the car it's cleansing the energy so taking the energy of the incense the incense is actually based off the lovers here so take in that beautiful energy this person will love you this person will love themselves this person will be on their game and you will too so let's see what messages come out here this will be the last that we get and then i will go ahead and end the reading so what messages are coming from this person from the universe okay so we actually had a few cards turn over but this is the one ah high five you're on the right track just confirmation from the universe that you're on the right track and there is nothing more you need to do at this time just be patient you're on the right track continue loving yourself Ooh, 
Okay, so this card has been trying to come out repeatedly, and I can tell from the colorings. Butter pecan. <laughs> so butter pecan is very symbolic of either business here, or it can also be about a date. Like this date with this person could be an ice cream date. That may be very well be your very first date with this person. All right. Yeah, so eat ice cream, you guys. So your first date with this person could very well be ice cream. Uh, <laughs> and you're gonna be looking cute when you have a cute outfit on. You're gonna be feeling good. All right, so for my pile number two, I hope that resonated with you. If it did, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, I will have all the details linked down below. And if you would like to donate to the channel, go ahead and do so. It is not expected of you, my lovely beings. All right, I love you all and have a good rest of your day. Bye. Hello, pile number three. So if you chose pile number three or this cute little duckling here, this is your reading. So let's start off with your messages. Okay, so we have I'm coming out. Okay, and you are in alignment. Okay, so, and for the unicorn card, we have the baby unicorn, which is symbolic of a new you. This could also mean that you guys could be having a baby, could be finding out that you're pregnant as well. Um, and with this duckling here, this could very well be baby type energy where you guys find out that you guys are pregnant. Um, so the love may be from a child because we have I'm coming out as well. Or this, this could be very much future type energy as well. So you may not be pregnant now or you may be wanting to get pregnant or this could very well be uh, in the future type energy. But you are definitely in alignment, whatever this may be. I don't know why I grabbed these again. Let's go ahead and start with your cards. Okay, Ten of Wands. So you guys have definitely ended a cycle in your life here where you guys are releasing the old aspects of yourself completely and you guys are allowing yourself to step into your energy fully is really what I'm getting here. You guys are no longer giving your energy and time to people who aren't deserving of it. And you guys have learned some very valuable lessons along the way. the sun <laughs> so definitely some lessons that you can pass down to others okay this could also be about a new you as well okay this could be very much about a new you if a baby does not resonate with you so we have the Prince of Pentacles, or the Knight of Pentacles, the Star, the Hanged Man, and the Five of Wands. Okay, definitely a new you, a new beginning, more energy is really what I'm getting here. For a very select few of you, it will be a baby, but for the majority, what I'm getting here is a new beginning, a new you. And in this new beginning, your financial situation is going to start turning around where you're going to start receiving more financial wealth in the very near future it's coming do not worry with the star card here you guys are learning how to water your own desert and make your desert an oasis you guys have been doing the hard work and it is starting to show in your life especially in your financial situation with this hanged man here you guys have changed your perspective for the better and you're even changing the way that you think of creativity and opportunity as well, where you guys realize that you can manifest more opportunities in life, but you cannot control when they come in. So definitely new you vibe is really what I'm getting here. I feel like when I said pregnancy, a few of you guys got a little bit of anxiety. Um, <laughs> do not worry, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, 10 of cups energy here. 
So definitely even in your love life, this could be getting a whole lot better. So this could be love from yourself, from the people that you love around you as well. So like so many beautiful energies are coming through here. Okay. So there has been a tower moment recently with the possibility of a friend because of the Ten of Cups and the tower. But it's also propelled you into this Empress type energy where you are birthing a new you. Where you guys may be releasing... Oh, that's that Ten of Wands here. You could be releasing old friends, old situations, old ways of being. And you guys are stepping into this whole new energy with the Empress here. You guys are no longer allowing people to get in your way to... It's almost like a person in the past may have said something about a situation that you're in where you knew the situation was good. You knew that situation was definitely speaking to your higher self. And this person put in their two cents without really knowing all the details. Um, and this person, you're just like, and we're done. <laughs> so we have that ten of wands here where you're willing to release this person now. And with this empress here, you guys are now birthing a whole new you. Uh, another thing that could be coming out here, coming out, uh, coming out, uh, this could actually be a friend. This could also very much be a new friend as well, is what I'm getting here. Um, you haven't met this friend yet. I'm not getting that you met them yet. Yeah, it's almost like you're looking off in the distance going, where are you? Hello? With that four of cups here. And this person will be coming to you soon is really what I'm getting. Yeah. I need a clarifier. Please clarify the situation, angels. Okay. Okay. This tower moment in the past with this person has actually kind of stopped you guys from having this five of wands with a potential partner is what I'm getting here. So it's almost like this, like, because that happened, it actually changed your perspective of your partner and of the people you allow in your life if you do have a partner. This friend could have also been talking crap about another friend as well. But because they did that, they put it into perspective for you where you realize that the relationships that you're in you used to have them be dictated by your friends. You used to have your friends kind of determine how you should feel about the relationship. And that is definitely coming to an end here. That may have been that tower moment, that thing that had been released with that 10 of wands here. Where this person, it's almost like this person was trying to cause you to self-sabotage your own relationships. And you guys were like, nah, bro, no. Like, I know who my person is with this Knight of Cups here. This person is loving. This person is amazing. And we even have this Two of Cups here. So you know that your person, whether it be a lover or a friend, is definitely your person. So you guys are releasing this old here, and you're moving out of this Four of Cups energy, and you're realizing that the right people who are meant for you will come in the right time, not when you want them to. So don't even worry about the new friend coming in. They are coming in definitely with I'm coming out here and you are in alignment. This person is coming your way. You're in alignment to meet them, but do not control the when or the how. These people are gonna come in when you least expect them. But definitely the love coming in is love coming from yourself and love coming from a friend here. And the very rare case where it may also be coming from a child. <laughs> But definitely with this duckling here and this baby unicorn, this love is very new. This is something that you guys just realized within yourself. This could be this friend that's coming in. It's going to, they're going to give you a whole new perspective. They may be very naive or they can be very just so happy about life or they're just like, you know, bad things can happen, but <laughs> type energy where it's like they almost don't even have a worry in the world and they're really going to help you learn how to have more fun in your relationships and in your day-to-day -day life. This friend coming in is not someone that you can control. It is not a situation that you can control. But definitely you guys are releasing this old person 
where you're no longer allowing friends to have a say in your relationship because you realize that your relationships with other people should be determined by you, not the people around you. The people around you who have something negative to say merely just want to self-sabotage your happy relationship because they're not happy. So ignore these people, let these people go. If you're in a situation where, you know, they're really close, especially in terms of proximity, you know, just reduce how much you talk to this person. You don't have to be like, oh, well, you know, F you, because this person is not aware of their own negativity is really what I'm getting here. So just spend less time with this person. Stay away from this person if you can. Um, if you do interact, make it short <laughs> because this person, they're not going to, it's almost like you're also manifesting a move as well. So know that either this person will be moving or you will be moving in the very near future. So do not even worry. This person will not be around for long. Just continue to keep your distance. All right. Last few cards here. Woo! Okay. I didn't catch that card. That's okay. All right. Yeah. This person was trying to manifest a three of swords in your relationships with others. So definitely just release that person because you guys know that a person who is meant to be in your life will only bring love to the table. They will only bring shared, beautiful energy to the table, not worry, not self-sabotage none of that the only time a person should ever really step in and question your relationship if it is very obvious that something is going wrong but if you are extremely happy in your relationship and you say how happy you are and there are no signs of abuse whether mental physical or emotional this person should have no say so know that it is okay to let this person go they do not serve you they are not in alignment with you. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, this person is definitely not in alignment with you. They're in this Nine of Wands energy, and you're in this Knight of Swords energy, or that Prince of Swords, where you guys are being... Yeah, this person does not have good intention for you, so just let this person go. Um, it's like, what I we have the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands, so this person is kind of stuck in this Nine of Wands energy, and they have been stuck there for quite a while. It's just that now you guys are starting to see it on a mental scale. And really what the universe wants you to know is to focus on what matters to you, not on who doesn't. Do not hold on to what a person has said. Do not hold on to their thought process because it is not for you. It is for them. It is something that they need to address within themselves. It's like they're at this point where they can proceed further and they can heal this old energy within themselves, but it is completely up to them if they choose to, and you are not responsible for this person. So really focus on yourself, focus, focus on your own mental journey, and continue to become your best self. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull a few cards here and get a few last messages. And then I will go ahead and end the reading. I love this energy. This is very much a don't mess with me type energy. I love it. Yeah, heart chakra. So this person is trying to attack your heart chakra, but you guys have been doing all of the work on it. So you guys are just brushing these people off. Um, continue to work on your heart chakra as well as all chakras should be worked on at all times. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling a new you type energy where you're realizing what type of friends should be allowed in your life and which ones should not. So definitely the love coming in is a love from a friend. Yeah. Throat chakra throat chakra as well and then we have i'm pushing you away because i don't want to hurt you so this is talking about the way that you guys are interacting with this person in the in the past here 
is that you guys are actually pushing them away because you don't want to hurt their feelings. You don't want to be rude because you, you're aware of this person and you're aware that they're not aware. So you're just slowly pushing them away. Um, work on your throat chakra and your heart chakra definitely and this will definitely help you along your path okay one last message for you guys i feel like there's one last message oh okay sorry i didn't mean to kick it in the table we have enjoy alone time so really enjoy your own alone time you do not have to hang out with people you don't have to, if you don't want to hang out with them. Yeah. I, there's, okay. <coughs> Enjoy your own alone time for my pound number threes, because that is beautiful. All right, pound number three. If that resonated with you, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, I will have all those details linked down below. If you'd like to donate to the channel, go ahead and do so. It is not expected of you. All right, my lovely beings, I love you all and have a good rest of your day. Bye. Hello, my pile number four. So if you chose pile number four, this is your reading. Okay, this is kind of crazy energy already. Like I literally, my eyeballs, I feel like they're going to leave my eye sockets. So we have the first message, which is mint chocolate chip. So the color green could be important to you. You may like mint. Um, my hair color is actually mint as well. Um, you may want to eat some ice cream, enjoy some alone time with yourself. And it says close one, open another. So you guys are closing. Okay, this makes a lot more sense now. You guys are closing one area of your life and going into a whole new other. So one doorway is closing and another one is opening, you guys. That is powerful, you guys. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, that's why there's so much energy. And kiss of life. So this is definitely love coming in, you guys. Wow, okay, yeah. You guys may have ended a relationship and you may be in this eat ice cream and cry energy here. <laughs> um, but this could also just be about you guys are ready to move on completely. And because mint chocolate chip is literally, you know, mint ice cream and dark chocolate uh, chips, quite literally. And they work together so well. And you cannot have the mint without the dark chocolate chips here. So what I'm getting is that this next person coming in is definitely going to compliment you perfectly. Because we literally have this kiss of life here so this person is definitely bringing life back into you and the carrot here can actually be symbolic of like it's almost like your your soul being fed if that makes sense this person is definitely going to be speaking to your soul okay let's not do those cards here i almost you know what i don't have you know what it was fine we have the star and we have the prince or the knights of pentacles okay okay and we have the devil okay so you guys have definitely healed a lot so you may have ended a relationship in the past and you guys are now moving into this thing where you're trying to find financial stability which is coming very quickly to you um, financially you guys are getting a lot more money um, because you're not pouring into someone who isn't deserving of your time and you guys are really watering your own oasis here with this star card. You're watering your own oasis. All right. You're watering your own desert. Right? Yeah, so definitely you guys see that your financial situation is getting better. So you may be, because your financial situation is getting better, you may be more willing to step into a, a romantic relationship here. Yeah, you guys have definitely moved on. <laughs> you guys are no longer focusing on the old. You're releasing this devil energy, this codependency energy here. And you guys are ready for someone who compliments you, not someone who takes away from you. Yeah, you guys definitely are going on a journey mentally with this princess or page of swords where you guys are focusing on your mentality. Focus... Yeah. You guys have definitely ended a relationship. This could be farther in the past here. And the love coming into your life is someone who compliments you like a mint chocolate chip ice cream. Okay. 
So you may not like mint chocolate chip ice cream, but I do. So <laughs> perfection is my opinion. Yeah, we have the devil repeating. So this person in the past definitely tried to take away your mental independence, if that makes sense to you. Like they really try to take away your independence, but you guys with this page of swords here did not let that happen. You were like, no, like I'm not gonna become reliant on you, on your negative energy. I'm free to leave and fly. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what type of person is coming into your life. So angels, what energy of the person is this person coming into their life? What type of love? Okay. I'm hearing what doesn't kill you makes you stronger is what I'm getting here. Okay. So this person coming into your life has also had a bad relationship in the past. So they may be a bit on guard is really what I'm getting here. But for both of you guys, because of this breakup, you guys are a lot stronger. You guys both have very fire type energy. So you guys both may be fire energy here. But we do have, we, we have the cups, we have the nine of swords, we have a high priestess and we have strength. So it could be that this person could also be a water sign, an air sign or a fire sign. Uh, but I'm feeling you both have stepped into your fire energy and have stepped out of this old negative sad energy in the past because with this five of cups and this nine of swords I almost don't even want to touch on it because you guys have worked through that you guys have gotten over that you guys realize that you're deserving of better you guys realize that everything that you deserve in life is for you to take like it is for you and with this high priestess here, you guys had know this person is coming. You guys know that you're deserving of better. You guys know that you will be happy in the end. Alrighty. So I'm going to pull a few more cards. Yeah, you guys are no longer focusing on the wrong things with this five of swords here. You guys are focusing on all the right things now. You guys are focusing on a love that complements you as a person. You're not looking for someone to complete you. You're looking for someone who will compliment you. <laughs> I realize I said that already. Um, but you guys are not looking for someone who is going to be like, oh, you will never live happy without me. Like, yes, I can. Like, you don't matter. There's 7 billion people on this planet. Do you really think you're the only one that matters? No. So you guys are definitely... St okay, so you may be receiving... Whoo, I caught it. Okay, so with this Eight of Wands here and this Chariot card, if you want to manifest this person quicker into your life, it is right for you. We even have the Ace of Wands here. If you want to manifest this person quicker into your life, really connect with your angels at this time. Listen to your psychic messages with this Eight of Wands here because this person is coming in quickly, though your angels want to give you guidance at this time to prepare you for this person because even though we want the perfect person no one is perfect we all have our issues so your angels are preparing you mentally for this person so connect with them at this time and they will help you manifest this person quicker into your life okay queen of cups here so what i'm getting is that this person may be a divine feminine or you may be a divine feminine here. And what I'm getting with this Queen of Cups is that love is going to be abundant. Love is going to be overflowing in this relationship. You're both going to be feeling very connected emotionally. And you're not going to have to worry about this person not being for there for you emotionally or vice versa. You guys are going to be there for each other. Just please connect with your angels at this time as they do want to help you along this path. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull a few messages from here, and I will go ahead and end the reading. Okay. I'm so happy. I'm happy for you guys. You guys are deserving of good. Yeah, you got to read between the lines with this person. This person is not going to be very open 
Like they are going to be open, but you're gonna, you're definitely going to have to read between the lines with this person. Yeah, ready, set, go. When this person comes into your life, do not be afraid to take action. Take action as is necessary. You may be the first person to speak up. You may be the one to give yourself, I mean, give them your number. Uh, so speak up, take action. You will know when they when it is the right person. Yeah, this person, if you guys may have not had the best sex life in the past here, also, if you're overwhelmed, please take a breath. Please take a break. Um, but this person definitely coming in, like you guys are gonna have amazing sex. So just letting you know <laughs> if you've been wanting to know. All right, my lovelies, I hope that resonated with you. If it did resonate with you, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, I will have all those details linked down below. If you would like to donate to the channel, go ahead and do so. It is not expected of you. All right. I love you all, my lovely beings, and have a good day.